Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to get a solid wireframe for your meshes and models. And it's a really great way how to present your stuff and make it look pro uh, professional. And I'm going to show you two ways how to do this. So before I get started, please comment and rate this video, subscribe to my page if you like my stuff, and add me as a friend if you need a friend. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go and load up a head model that I made. Um, yeah, here we go. Just join these areas here. Okay, so here's a head model that I made. So I'm gonna turn. You don't want to have really any colors on it. So I'm gonna turn all the materials off. Let me fix this so you guys are more familiar with it. Turn this to the buttons window. Okay. So let's put this header on top. Let's go ahead and delete. Um, oops, sorry, wrong one. I'm gonna select my eyes here, and I'm just gonna delete these. You don't want any textures or materials or anything for the eyes. You go and select this, and you don't want them to be specular. So turn the specularity down to zero. Put the hardness about uh, one between 120 and 150, and then go ahead and just turn it to white. So before we do anything else, let's go ahead and fix the lighting up. So we're, we're gonna have a two point light, two um, two lights. So one here and one here. The one over here. Let's go ahead and turn the energy to 0.5. Okay, put it right about there. Pretty good. Go ahead and put this here and here, just to where we get a good sense of lighting. Make sure you're in textured mode, or else you won't be able to see the lighting. Okay, so let's make this one here. It's the very, very light blue. Just a little bit. Like that. And that gives, you know, a very nice effect to your mesh. Okay. So now that we have this, um, let's go ahead, go over here. Let's go ahead and apply the mirror modifier. If you have one, go ahead and apply it. So press Shift D and duplicate this mesh, right? And then press tab to go into edit mode. Select all and press Alt S and just move it a tick up. You can see because that this is the sh shrink fatten tool and you want to bring it up just ever so slightly. Okay, now what you want to do, you want to scale it down just a tiny bit, just to the back where it's just on the mesh that's pretty good so now that we have that let's go into materials tab let's turn this one to actually make this a single user so press that 2 right there go ahead and make this black okay so now that we have this all done oops here's the sorry about that Just, um, fix the background image here X, okay. So let's just rotate around the 3D cursor. So press period and or go here to 3D cursor and press R twice and just rotate. Go ahead and hide this so we can see the features. You can hide things with Alt H in Blender. That's pretty good. So press Alt H and unhide it. And let's go ahead and turn the the second duplicate of the of uh, our mesh that we turn black. And let's press wire. Okay. I'm just gonna speed up the turn some settings down here. Okay. So let's press F12 and wait. Let's see how much time we have left. That way, plenty of time. Okay. Just let it render. It got a. It takes a little bit to render. It should only take a couple more seconds now. It's only taking this long because of the um, the recording program is running. Okay, so now you see we have wires all over the the mesh, and that looks pretty cool. But that's not exactly what we want. We kind of want it to fade a little bit. So first of all, I'm gonna zoom in. 
Oops. About there. It's pretty good. Okay. So now select that uh, the head with the black wire material. And let's go ahead and give it a texture. Add new. Let's go to blend, okay? And um, let's go to colors. Color band. Let's turn this over here. Turn this to white. And let's turn the alpha for this down just to like 0.8 or so. Now what you want to do here, go back to materials, press map 2, right? Turn color off and turn on alpha. And that means that the texture that we just applied to it will only affect the alpha. Go ahead and turn the alpha here all the way down and turn Z transparency on. And now we get this cool fade effect. Press F12. Let it render for a second. Yeah, and this is a really, really great way to um, present your meshes and models and things like that. And in case you guys are wondering how to model a head, I will be making a head modeling series in the future. So you can go uh, look forward to that. Sorry, this is taking so long. It shouldn't take that long. Okay. So let's go ahead and look and we get this very nice, very cool effect here. But let's make it even, let's go ahead and bring it down even further. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off, uh, turn the settings way down now because it's kind of annoying waiting that long. Okay. So Go uh, over here to textures. Select um, this color here. Make sure that the alpha is all the way down. Let's turn the alpha on. And you can see that how it affects it. So if you want to change how it um, affects it, you can just apply it. Let's go ahead and put this line here up so that the alpha doesn't reach as far. Okay. See how that is? Pretty good. But let's go ahead and just bring it back right about there. Okay, and this should do it. Let's see how much time we have. I'm not going to put you guys through all the waiting, so I'm just going to pause it. Okay, so here's what it looks like, and it looks pretty good. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and um, erase certain like edge loops or vertices just to give it like a better, you know, edge flow or something like that. But, you know, it's just for I'm just showing you guys. So let's delete this. I'm going to show you the other way how to do it. So you just select your mesh here. All right. Just tab to go in edit mode and select every. Oops, sorry. Select every vertice, uh, um, vertex using A. Let's go uh, over here to where is it? Um. Oh, sorry. My this is too high here. Go to mesh. Go all the way up here to scripts and look for solid wireframe and then turn extra sharp on press ok give it a second ok now press tab to go in, uh, out of, uh, to leave edit mode and you see this weird uh, thing going around like this and that's because it has a subsurf modifier on so just turn that off and you get the same thing and um, that's pretty much it so I'm just going to delete it but you can use either or and that's how I pretty much present how I render my models now. And uh, so thanks for watching this tutorial, and um, be sure to watch some more. So thanks for watching. Bye.